Hello and welcome to program 25 in this series of programs and tutorials which focus on TradeStation Easy Language. Program 25 is a feature rich program that looks for candlestick patterns both on charts and on uh, radar screen. And uh, if you look at the, mo at the uh, chart at the moment, we've got an NTRS chart, 15 minute chart open on the left, and we've got radar screen open on the right. And uh, if you look, you'll see that uh, saying on the chart that we have a bearish harami and uh, on the right you'll also see the uh, the text for ntrs um, as saying bearish harami there as well or rather bearish h now these are using the uh, trade station candlestick functions using inputs that we're specifying in this program that you can change the neat thing about this program is that with the radar screen you may be interested in just more than the current bar that's being formed so what I've done is added a user input to enable you to look back a certain number of bars that you just uh, specify in the input so for example if you were interested in just looking at the current bar then you would set this input to zero if you were interested in looking at the current bar and the one before it you would set it to one and if you're interested in looking at the current bar the one before it and the one before that you would set it to two and so on so uh, you'll, you'll notice here that the uh, this pattern has just appeared and disappeared and reappeared let me uh, go through the inputs and uh, show you some of the other things that you can do using this program so if we go format analysis techniques and it's gonna double click on this and uh, the first one last bar this is the number that determines how many bars back you would look to display in radar screen it doesn't have an effect when applied to a chart but on radar screen what it currently means is that the program would look at the current bar and then the 20 bars before that to see if there are any patterns and then I've used the new TradeStation 9.0 token list capability to display those patterns on radar screen uh, incidentally um, I'm looking at the uh, the chart inputs at the moment the uh, on the radar screen this is set to zero the next three length percent and factor are all input to the candlestick functions and uh, I've explained that on the program 25 web page if you'd like more information about those you can also open the program this is going to be an unprotected program that's available for a nominal fee and if you right click on any of the candlestick functions you can then look at either the function itself or you can look for an explanation of what the function does now adjustment this determines if we get say two patterns uh, appearing on the same bar on a chart this determines how far apart those patterns are separated from each other just so that you can see the text and it doesn't get written on top of each other and uh, just see if I can find an example of that so I'm just going to close this and uh, see if we've got any examples on this particular chart yeah there we can see an example here where we've got a candlestick pattern and it's telling us that we've got a hanging pattern and a bearish harami and those two uh, pieces of text are separated by a certain amount which you can specify so just continuing looking at the inputs now one of the uh, one of the things that the program also include, includes is what I've called stock filter and you can set this either to true or false if we set it to true then the program is only going to display what could be construed as bullish candlestick patterns if the stochastic the slow stochastic in other words O slow K is less than or equal to 20 and the program will only display the uh, bearish candle or what could be construed as bearish candlestick patterns if uh, Oslo K is greater or equal to 80 if it's set to false then uh, we don't have that filter and then the remainder of the inputs determine whether we look for particular patterns or not so if you want to look for that pattern you set it to one if you don't want to look for that pattern then set it to zero so you've got control total control over which patterns you can see and uh, this will also serve as a listing of the patterns that the uh, the program is looking for okay so other features of the program um, and first of all let me uh, I'm just going to go back to the radar screen and uh, so that we get more patterns showing I'm going to change the input which determines how many bars back we look to a larger number 
and then uh, we should see several patterns appearing uh, for certain symbols so just going to uh, double click this going to go to inputs and uh, let's try changing this to five let's say OK and uh, just let the uh, the radar screen refresh okay so we can see in this particular case we've got uh, three candlestick patterns um, highlighted there and if we were to click on that symbol and I've incidentally got the symbol and the intervals linked on the chart you'll see here those those three patterns appearing this was actually not the zero one two um, bars but we've actually got this thing set to uh, to five so we can also see for this uh, particular symbol the uh, the bearish engulfing other features here are include if we were to click the uh, analysis commentary and click on a particular row then we'll get a summary of what the uh, patterns are, are appearing on that particular row and we can also set the alert and we can set the alert both on the radar screen and on the chart and uh, just to give you an example um, if we just go back to the radar screen and format analysis techniques I'm just going to change this back to one and or rather to I'm going to, just going to go back and change the last bar to zero so the radar screen is only looking for patterns that have occurred on the most recent bar so we'll just let radar screen refresh okay so we can see here brown foreman we've got a um, bearish harami and a hanging pattern and uh, if we were to go to the chart and we go format analysis techniques and uh, just double click on this click alerts and we're going to enable the alert and let's just uh, alert ourselves once so we don't drive ourselves crazy and uh, going to say OK and uh, what we should see in a few moments is that this alert will be set off for this particular chart there we go we get the uh, the alert window appearing now if, if we were to set alerts for radar screen it would also work but uh, obviously for a large number of stocks you'd be getting a lot of alerts occurring uh, potentially so the usability of that would be uh, would be up to you to determine but um, the uh, the capability is there if you need it okay so as I say the program does use TradeStation 9.0 token list functionality I've also created a method in the program if you're interested in that it will work on daily weekly monthly and intraday bars Anyway, I hope you might find it useful.